And now, introducing for the first time in Detroit, LB and the Panthers. All right. So this is gonna take audience participation here. Somebody save your car because we're building in the city. You know, too many standards, these assessments got us losing control. Kids need a space to be, time to be free and to grow. We want some good stuff, want to build with Makey, Makey, and Spiro. Because you don't even know. DK makes your kids learn. So DK makes your kids learn. Every day when our makers come out, they build what we have around. Our lack of supplies can't hold them down, but we're in need of something good right now. By now you ought to know. DK makes your kids learn. DK makes your kids learn. Hi, I'm Anthony DeRosa. <laughs> I'm a sixth grade teacher at Dalton Kellogg Middle School. I'm Dana Cantu. I teach fifth grade at DK. Hi, I'm Lori Batesy. I'm an instructional technologist with Kalamazoo Risa of Remsey 12 West and on Wednesdays at Dalton Kellogg. <laughs> Here's a quick snapshot of Dalton Kellogg. 51% of our approximately 400 students qualify for free and reduced lunch. And yet we continue to see our specials programs being cut there's no gifted and talented or STEM program in place at the middle school. Uh, right now we have a makerspace, like Lori said, on Wednesdays. Um, but our makerspace is really a space in the very sense of that word. Uh, it's a old classroom that's not being used right now. Uh, really, it's being used for storage. So there's the wobbly table that the teacher didn't want anymore. Um, art projects being stored that don't fit in the art classroom. We have a wonderful museum of old textbooks in our makerspace <laughs> that still, uh, geography textbooks that still list the USSR as a country. Um, and a lot of novel sets that haven't been used since before our students were born. And some even before we were born. <laughs> and with this very unglamorous space, our kids still can't wait until Wednesdays when Lori is with us to take them to the makerspace. So a makerspace will allow our staff to encourage students uh, to be more creative, work cooperatively together, problem solve, all while doing the engineer design process. Students will be able to capture their learning uh, through filming on the GoPro uh, with, in Chromebooks and iPads, and then share them with the world uh, through uh, student blogs, Twitter, and YouTube. And even only having this makerspace one-fifth of the week, um, our students are excited about it. We had one seventh grader say, I think DK should have a makerspace because it will teach students things that the teachers can't explain in the classroom. It will also shake up the usual learning, as well as provide equally important skills students will need in their adult lives, and give students experiences with technology that they might need in the future. So with our lack of resources, we have been able to uh, get help uh, with, from the help from Remsey to do digital storytelling, coding with robots, uh, with our robotics club every Wednesday, uh, breakout EDU, uh, Dash and Dot and Legos, but we said these resources are only available on Wednesdays when, when Lori is there. Because I have to share with Jeremy and Keith. <laughs> <laughs> so why choose our makerspace? What's the Met School number one, Mets team? Wait, what? <laughs> Goal number one, build capacity of local educators like Dana and Anthony to integrate technology to effectively promote learning. We have based our selections on the tools that have been borrowed from Rumsey Innovation Center and Rumsey Classroom Maker Kit. Does that mean one minute? I thought it was one second. Holy cow. <laughs> um, <laughs> read that. Um, so I'm going to say that part again. Remsey Innovation Center and Remsey Classroom Maker Kit, including the things that Anthony mentioned. I'm not going to repeat them for time's sake, but um, cardboard, robots, et cetera. Um, supporting Remsey goals, too. A makerspace would support the MDE 10 and 10, um, specifically personalized learning and student choice. Additionally, with our GoPro camera, we plan to use the cross braining lessons. We were hoping that Mr. Nichols would be here um, to do a shout out to him, a little suck up. 
because um, we want to share these lessons that we're going to do on our um, Delton Kellogg YouTube channel. We alone cannot change the world, but we can cast a stone across the water to create many ripples. So, by now, by now you, you ought to know, know DK, DK makes, makes your kids, kids learn. learn. Thanks, Andy. So um, how many of you guys are familiar with cross-braining? Uh, I, would, I would definitely find out about it. I know that um, Mr. Nichols is going to present here at McColl. Uh, so GoPro um, actually um, has cooperated with him to develop these series of lessons where um, kids are recording um, themselves doing the lessons um, and demonstrating the standards. So that's the main thing that cross-braining um, supports, is that kids are explaining how what they're doing in the makerspace supports the um, standards. And so what we're thinking is we would use those recordings then on our Delton channel, then, p then the public, which is you guys would have access to that. So we'd be able to share that information out with you guys through that channel. Question number two? Yeah. What made you choose that song to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We chose it because we wanted audience participation, and that had clapping in it. <laughs> and LB and the Panthers sounds cool, right? Like, it's in the tantrum, so. <laughs> so you mentioned your, tw your Twitter stuff and your YouTube stuff that you're doing. How are you using that already with your kids? Light just got brighter. <laughs> uh, my class specifically is on Twitter every day. I have a tweeter of the day who we already share our learning uh, throughout the course of the day. So my social media director has a set of hashtags that they've learned how to use, and they'll take a picture or a video and record themselves doing things uh, in the classroom every day already. So it, this would just support that even further throughout the school. Both Anthony and Dina are great about using Twitter as a professional development tool also. Um, I was hanging out on um, Michelle um, last Wednesday night, and all of a sudden there's Anthony liking my stuff. And I was like, yo, what up, Anthony? Like, we're hanging out here on Michelle on Wednesday night. So uh, yeah, I feel like they already kind of know how to use those tools and would be able to just take it to the next step. Um, because of tools like Michelle, I'm in this type of community. We're always going to learn better ideas on how to develop those things too. Thanks, Andy. Um, I think you're out there somewhere. That light seriously is like, <laughs> whoo, I got it over here for it. Um, so one of the great things that um, I've had a chance to be a part of, obviously, is being an employee with RMC is getting to know um, some of the things that we are, have available at our own RMC 12 West through Tinker Zoo. And so that was one of the, some of the stuff I got started with, getting my hands on. Like my first week, got, uh, you know, was able to break a floor 3D pretty well. Um, so, um, and then the other thing is through the classroom makers with REMC. So those are the things that we've had a chance to use, and we know what works with the kids with those, and so those are the things that we um, budgeted. We had to turn in a budget for this application, and so we outlined a dash, a uh, Spiro, a 3D printer, making making cardboard stuff, because we're definitely interested in growing. We have the cardboard, um, but I don't know. With, if you guys with the makers, I was even telling Tina the other day, my daughter and I built a pyramid for Madawan Spring Fair, and um, I missed that zippity doo dah thing. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? The thing that cuts the cartel for you automatically? Yeah, I mean, like, we need to have that in our maker space. So, um, so basically, uh, our priority is based on what the, the things are that we had success with with the kids already. 